Hello, I'm Noreno Petro, Practice Management Advisor for the State Bar of Wisconsin. And we're here today to talk to you about features that you should have in at least one copy of a PDF software that you use in your office on a daily basis. Now, PDF is not even the de facto standard anymore. It's the de jure standard for electronic file management and storage. Uh, the federal and state courts and federal and local governments have adopted PDF as the standard for using uh, to store electronic documents. There are a number of tools, both free and paid, that can create PDFs and do simple things with PDF documents. But the key is that at least uh, at some point in time, you're going to have to do more than simply create a PDF. You need to manipulate it. You may need to remove information. You may, you may need to add things to it. And every attorney should have full capability on at least one desktop in their office to do a number of things. So let's talk about what I think these minimum capabilities are. First of all, I think whatever tool you use needs to be able to create a PDF file from multiple sources. And what we're talking about is um, creating PDFs from commonly used word processing, spreadsheet and presentation programs, also um, from scanners and things like that. The key is that you can install a PDF program and it will install as a printer and that you would print to it. But the better programs add actual add-ons to the toolbars of say Microsoft Word, Excel, and PowerPoint and therefore it gives you more control over creating the PDF so you can do it right from within the word processor itself. There's no printing uh, function required. You need to be able to create searchable PDFs. What do I mean by that? If you're going to scan a PDF and you want to be able to search it and find information in it, it needs to be searchable. That means that the product that you get needs to be able to run at least a basic level of optical character recognition. When you scan a document, all the computer sees is a bunch of small dots on a page it actually needs to run the optical character recognition to turn those dots into text that the computer can understand and interpret. You need to be able to add comments. Uh, if you're exchanging uh, a PDF back and forth, you may be able to uh, make changes to it, but at a minimum you need to be able to add comments to it so the other party can know what your thoughts are or for your own edification to go back and review the document at a later date. You need to be able to add Bates numbers. Uh, that's not necessarily as crucial for non-litigators, but Bates numbering also comes along with page numbering in most of these programs. And the Bates numbering gives you additional capabilities to do more than simply apply a single number such as 1 through 20 to a document. So Bates numbering is a must, uh, at least on one workstation in your office. You need to be able to convert those PDF documents that you receive into a Word or an Excel spreadsheet or RTF format perhaps even a WordPerfect format. Ideally, whatever solution you get also has the capability to have what's known as a typewriter tool. And that means that when you download a form from, say, a court website that does not have form fields already in it, it's what we would call a flat or static PDF file, using a typewriter tool, you can literally type on the face of that document on the screen and you can save it and print it off. You don't have to print it off, put it into an old-fashioned typewriter, or do anything else with it. So a typewriter tool, I think, is, is an absolute must. You need to be able to redact uh, a document. What redaction does is it allows you to remove uh, text or portions of a PDF that you don't want the other party to see. This could be pursuant to an order of the court or by agreement of the parties, but you need a redaction tool. And the problem is that if you don't use a true redaction tool, you may remove the actual image, the, the dots on the page, but you won't remove the underlying invisible layer of text that can be searched by a computer. If you don't get rid of both, you haven't properly redacted the document. So whatever product you use must have that full redaction capability. You need to ideally be able to remove metadata because yes, even in a PDF there is metadata. Not to the extent that you might find it in Word or Excel, but when you create the PDF or you move a document, you change a document from Word to PDF, a certain amount of information comes over. Title, uh, who did the authoring, the date created, things like that. So the ideal solution should have the ability to remove metadata from within the document itself, even though it's a PDF. Ideally, you should be able to impose security restrictions. Uh, you should be able to password protect the file. You should be able to limit 
what kind of printing capabilities, whether anyone can make any changes to the document or edit it, um, whether they can print it. So the program needs to be able to not only impose security, it should be able to also enforce security, which is standard with Adobe Acrobat and a number of others now, regardless of the program that has been created within. Uh, you need to be able to create stamps, including images, such as an image of your signature. So you can sign documents electronically using a stamp. Ideally, the program you get should also have the ability to utilize digital identification and security certificates. And what these uh, do is they allow for you to digitally sign a document in addition to your, the image of your physical signature and to allow a recipient to verify your identity whether there have been any changes made to the document um, since it was created and information like that. This is a very handy tool when you're exchanging documents and you want to ensure there have been no changes to them. You also want it to be able to integrate with other products and services such as document management uh, systems, cloud storage, perhaps Microsoft SharePoint, uh, and others. The ideal solution is going to allow you to take advantage of as many of the different uh, ways you work and save your, with your documents as you do. So if you use Dropbox, ideally you can save to Dropbox. Or if you're using WorldDocs, that the product integrates with WorldDocs. So those are some of the things. I think lastly is the ability to create what they call PDF slash A format documents. And if you think of PDF slash A as PDF archive. And this is a file format of PDF that removes a lot of the uh, gee whiz features of things that allow you to change content, embedded audio and video. And this is the standard that's being required by the federal courts. So whatever solution you have needs to be able to at least comply with one or the other of the subsets of PDF A and also to be able to check the PDF for compliance. That's something else that's really important. So these are the minimum I think that you need to have in at least one uh, PDF solution in your office. You don't necessarily need it on every desktop, but these features will ensure that you will be able to do whatever you need to do with a PDF when it comes into your office, regardless of the use you need to make of it. I'm Noreno Petro. Thanks for watching.